Hey, I'm JR, and I'm here in the video studio once again with Steve Kindig, our resident TV guru. How's it going, Steve? How's it going, JR? Fantastic. Behind us, the new Sony A9F OLED, Organic Light Emitting Diode TV. Uh, we recently had a, a, a training here at Crutchfield where, by far and away, the one that caught our eye the most when we walked into the room was this one. Right. And that's because it's the Sony Master Series and because it, uh, it's a big, bright, beautiful OLED TV. And part of the reason it caught our attention was because of the pixel contrast booster. Right. That's your cue, buddy. And what that does is it, it's able to actively boost the, the, the brightness uh, on the color in you know, certain sections of the screen. It doesn't do it you know, across the entire screen. And that was really noticeable. I mean, the, the colors definitely had a little more punch. And that's something that, uh, that OLED TVs can sometimes be a limitation, is yep. getting just bright, bright enough. Sure. They're not going to get as bright as some of the brightest LED TVs. Right. But in most cases, they're going to be plenty bright. But, but we really liked the way that this looked. Yeah, the, 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 the images were just popping off the screen yeah. in the training, and they really looked fantastic. So this TV actually won the TV shootout, uh, which is like the 14th time they've done it up yeah. in New York, right? And Sony actually doesn't make the OLED panel themselves. They That's buy correct. that from another company. Right. Uh, but life's pretty good for Sony <laughs> because they actually won the TV shootout and beat the company that makes their OLED panels, right? Exactly. The reason that happened is because of the Sony X1 Ultimate processor, which is their newest version of their processor. It's what's powering this TV. What does the processor do? So, uh, and that's one thing. I, I think, you know, people a lot of times focus on the panel technology, but the video processing these days on 4K TVs, that is every bit as important as the panel. Mm -hmm. And what that is able to do is it, it takes uh, more of a, an object-oriented uh, approach to processing. So rather than applying like a generic enhancement to the entire screen, it is able to identify and analyze and optimize hundreds of items within any given scene. And so, it's just so much more precise, and you end up with just a much more natural looking picture. I mean, it does it just, everything it so well. fine tunes everything, yeah. yeah. Uh, so well that uh, the, fo the folks over at Netflix actually use these TVs, right, when they're mastering mm -hmm. their original network programming, Netflix programming, right? So, uh, and they have some sort of relationship with this TV and Sony? They do, and, and so for all of Sony's Master Series TVs, um, the, the, the big thing there is that they've um, designed them to emulate uh, Sony's professional uh, mastering monitors that are used in Hollywood post-production suites sure. for color grading stuff like that. Those are $45,000 30-inch monitors and so Sony's just done whatever they could to make the picture quality on these sets match those. And Netflix uses these TVs, right, when right. they master their programs, and you can actually use a Netflix mode or something? Right. It? This TV has something called Netflix calibration yeah. mode, and you just select it in the menu, turn it on, and then whenever you're watching a Netflix program, the TV automatically adjusts the picture settings to match those of the reference monitors that Netflix uses. So it's exactly what the video engineers at Netflix yeah. wanted you to be able to see. So it looks the way the Netflix people wanted it to look. Yeah which is perfect when you're watching a Netflix original show. Uh, there's something else pretty cool about this OLED, uh, and that is the sound coming off of the screen itself, right? Right. The speakers are actually built into the panel, but this one takes it a step further. Right, yeah. In, in that previous flagship model, there were uh, basically kind of two uh, speaker modes. Actually, what they call them are, are actuators, and they're they uh, send the sound as vibrations through the screen and they're on the back of the screen. So this model adds a third one located in the center. So you're gonna get much more accurate tracking of sound. So that's one thing that's cool is that, you know, as you're watching the TV, the sound yeah. is actually following the action on the screen, which is really cool. And, and this model, they've added a second subwoofer as well. So um, the sound is much more full range and there's about 100 watts of power. Too. Yeah, so there's two subwoofers in the base on the back of the yeah. TV, left, center, and right on the front of the TV, but you might want to actually use a home theater receiver, right? Right. Where you have speakers all around your room. Sometimes center channel placement can be difficult. Sony thought of that and they put some speaker level inputs on the back. They sure did. And they uh, set the processor up to know that when you hook it up that way, it acts as your center channel. So that means your left, center, and right actuators on this TV actually become your full center channel speaker. Which mean, I mean, the whole point of a center channel is that the dialogue and the action that's happening on the screen needs to sound like it's coming from the screen. That's why in movie theaters they put the speakers behind the screen. Yep. 
that's what's happening here in this TV when you wire it up that way. And, and I think it, it's an especially valuable feature on this set because as you can see, there's there's really no room to put like a sound bar or anything in front of the screen. Oh no, it it's sitting flat on this table right yeah. now. Uh, so we're really impressed with the sound. It can be your center channel or it can be your left, center, right. Uh, and if you are using a home theater receiver, especially if you've set up a nice Dolby Atmos home theater system, you're going to want to take advantage of Enhanced Audio Return Channel, or eARC. An enhanced H uh, ARC does what? So that, so with regular ARC, that was limited to 5.1 channel audio. Dolby Digital. Dolby Digital. So with eARC, you can go up to 7.1 channels and it can handle Dolby Atmos. So if you have your ceiling height speakers, uh, you can actually make them come alive yep. when you're watching, when you're watching Netflix, Netflix uh, Amazon, Hulu, that stuff like that, yep. or the over-the-air broadcast. Very cool. Last but not least, it is a Google Assistant, right? Yep. So you can talk to the microphone, you can control the stuff in your house that is compatible with Google Home Assistant, and of course you can tell the TV what to do. Right, and it works really well. Yeah, we were very impressed with that. Um, very impressed with this TV and uh, Sony Master Series TVs overall, just pretty great. If you have any questions about these or anything else at Crutchfield, please give us a call, chat with us online, send us an email. Advisors are here, standing by, ready to help you.